All right. Um, this is bumper removal, rear bumper, uh, on an Audi 80 Quattro. This is a 91 model. And there's probably a ton of you that already know about these cars and already knew this, but in case you decide that you want to take yours off to say get painted or whatever, I just thought I'd show you what's involved so you don't have to do any figuring. So you've got in the boot here, trunk. You got your these three bolts that you want to undo. These are 13 millimeter. And then on the other side, same thing. Okay. And what I did was actually smacked on the studs that were sticking out and realized that it was pushing the bumper back, so that's cool. Because on the side here, these are equipped with these slide in. So in other words, you would have the bumper sliding onto the car. And do not pull on them because you'll wreck those, those clips, okay? So it actually pulls out that way. So you gotta undo the, the legs that hold the, the, the bumper absorbers actually from the car and pull the bumper out towards the rear of the car. So I already got one side undone. So I'm going to take my trusty pry tool. Alright, I had to shut it off because I needed two hands. Alright, so I got it started in there. My pry bar. There. It comes right apart. Now, I should be able to just pull the whole bumper off backward. I'm probably going to need two hands for this. So, Okay, it's off. And actually, I forgot to tell you that there is a bolt on the left side or yeah excuse me the left side of the car right here that you got to undo and there is not one over here so you got you got your three your three and then this guy right here which the right side does not have but there we are it's off it was really easy so that's how you pull it off I mean it just pulled right out real easy these these slide right onto these guys right on the side of the car like a puzzle kind of so <clears throat> that's off I'm gonna move on to the front one okay I'm back at it and I'm taking off the front bumper now and it's pretty much the same thing as the rear um, only if you're gonna do this obviously you're not gonna be taking this all apart like that but it is a lot easier that's for sure but anyway here's your bolts here there's your bolts there, and I assume that this is going to pull out just like the rear did. So you're going to pull it towards the front of the car, um, and of course you got to undo your little light uh, washer deals. And I already cut these wires. Somebody put some uh, cheesy fog lamps in there to replace the stock ones. Obviously they fell out or broke or something, but I'm going to keep them because you never know when you need some cheesy fog lamps uh, and then uh, if you're ever if you're gonna scrap a car you know what I do I just take out I take out everything I take the bulbs out just for the heck of it and I take the bulbs out I take the fuses out because you never know when you're gonna need them so I have a plethora of bulbs but you know what it's uh, it's handy but that's the deal so I'll show you when I got it out. Okay, there was a hidden surprise right here. I took out these, I, and also on the other side, and then it wouldn't budge, so you gotta take that one out too. And I didn't get that one out yet. So, right there, okay? And then, I'm pretty sure it'll just pull out just like the, uh, the rear one pulled out as well. Um, I don't have this disconnected yet, but I'm going to get it undone once I pull it out. It'll be much easier that way. Okay, I got those bolts removed. I'm going to yank on this thing and see what happens. Got something holding up this side. Just 
check that holes, and it's up. It was really a simple job to do.